DNA replicates, starts off with the HeLa case, goes through to separate H bonds between nitrogenous bases, protein and topo isomerase helps to try to hold it in place, then comes DNA polymerase to make two from one strands DNA. Replication has an origin and all the strands that are leading and lagging, enzymes help to connect DNA and Okazaki fragments, cause in the strand that's lagging, RNA primers are retracting, DNA polymerase follows primers like Twitter, puts DNA in place to RNA is switched out. Don't forget about the ligase, fills in gaps in the sugar phosphate, then it dephosphorylates, phosphodiester bonds in the backbone of DNA, telomeres at the end of chromosomes that are somatic, need to race in the germ cells, don't want offspring to have less DNA, nope. Nucleus repairing, DNA that needs correcting, eclipse out of misaligned DNA, polymerase comes in for replacing, so where's all this? It's in the nucleus, semi-conservative replication, find it in eukaryotes after DNA and false being twisted into his Proteins in tertiary structure with ionic and covalent bonds, peptide bonds in primary, DNA has a primary code, alpha helis sees and beta pleaters, which is where secondary gets involved, disulfide bridge and hydrogen have the bonds to help tertiary fold, can't get enough, can't get can't get enough with Van der Waals. Can't get enough, can't get enough hydrophilic. Proteins stay in tertiary or quat. Depend on the function of the side chain, it's got hydrophobic cores in the center. It's nonpolar. Ribosome. Free floating, large and small subunits found. Connects with exons that are bound to make polypeptide chains that wave around. Primary, secondary. Chaperones get twisted around. Hydrophilic environment that twists it right to send it out to its site. Chains on the side of the amino acid R group interact all right. Polar hats plus a negative. You find a slight charge on each side. Opposites attract just right. This happens during tertiary. If you get more than one together, then you have quaternary. So where's all this? Outside the nucleus, protein folding in the structure. Find it in eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Control by DNA from his Proteins stones. in tertiary structure with ionic and covalent bonds. Peptide bonds in primary. DNA has a primary code. Have a helis, season beta pleaders. This is where secondary gets involved. That's all fire bridge and high. Hydrogen have the bonds to help tertiary fold. Can't get enough, can't get enough with vandal walls. Can't get enough, can't get enough hydrophilic. Proteins stay in tertiary and quat. Depend on the function of the side chain, it's got hydrophobic cores in the center. It's nonpolar. Proteins are coded in transcription with the help of RNA polymerase. Codons are in the mRNA. Anticodons in tRNA. Amino acid and tRNA brought together by the synthetase. P site has a polypeptide chain. A site is the attachment place. E site it exits out and goes away. Amino acids find another tRNA. Stop codons such as UGA. Stop the making of protein. So where's all this? The ribosomal nucleus. Transcription and translation. Fighting eukaryotes after DNA and false being twisted into his Proteins in tertiary. Structure with ionic and covalent bonds, peptide bonds in primary DNA has the primary code. Have a helix season, but depleted sheets where secondary gets involved. That's sulfide bridge and hydrogen. Have the bonds to help tertiary fall. Can't get enough, can't get enough with Van der Waals. Can't get enough, can't get enough hydrophilic. Proteins stay in tertiary or in quat. Depending on the function of the side chain, it's got hydrophobic cores in the center. It's nonpolar.